Hello everybody, Drew here, Tip of the Mint Flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller, and every 100 subscribers, there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. Only three subscribers to the next giveaway, so very close. If you want to speed that up, like the video, share the video, tell somebody to, to subscribe, and just not watch my videos because you want to be entered into the drawing. Whatever works. Drew here from the future. Well, that didn't take long. We have officially made it to 500 subscribers. So that is time for another giveaway. Stick around to the end of the video to see how to get entered. I've got eight orders going out today for about a hundred bucks. Not a huge selling day. Very easy packers. Both things very good because my girlfriend had to get uh, emergency eye doctor appointment, nothing major happened, just our youngest, our little sweet baby, smashed her glasses, so, and she's blind without them, so she had to go, and I'm hoping to finish up real quick before that monitor over there tells me I have to stop working. First thing going out, C6, vintage, 1989 Milton Bradley Taboo. Oh, of course, it's way back there. So let me get the stool. There we go. Taboo, the game. Um, what did I get for that? Uh, $10.99 plus shipping. I took an offer. The shipping's insane. It'll be a little cheaper than what they pay because it says 22 bucks, But it's going to California, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see when I pack it, but that that sounds ludicrous. Uh, next thing up, I feel bad for a gentleman I've been sharing a couple messages back and forth with. He shot me an offer on C3 Dungeons & Dragons Jigsaw Puzzle. I put it together to make sure all the pieces were there. I am a nerd that enjoys the Dungeons & the Dragons. And I told the guy, I said, I said, hey, I would accept the offer, but I'd rather keep it than take an offer. And he said, well, I still want it if I can afford it in a couple weeks. And we just messaged back and forth. Because if you're not a nerd that plays Dungeons & Dragons, there are, this is a fun fact, there are many, many, many more people that enjoy Dungeons & Dragons than get to actually play. Because it involves getting people on a schedule and doing things together. So many more people enjoy it than actually get to play it. Uh, but somebody bought it, $39.99 plus shipping. Sorry to that guy. I don't remember his name. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Next up on B3A is a silicone black Wii remote cover. And it is new right there. Um, I think I sold it as new. But either way, it is new. And I got $9.99 free shipping for that. Next up, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom. I'd never heard of this. I saw it and I said, that looks like it's worth something. I paid 50 cents and it's not popular by any means, but that one right there, $9.99 free shipping. So this, this is in the realm of VHS worth selling. Um, something also in the realm of VHS worth selling is Barney. This one, I think 10 bucks. This one, I think about 10 bucks. This one right here, $35. I, I don't know why, but you want to look at some fun? Go search Barney VHS, sort them by most expensive. It will psh, blow your mind. So yeah, $9.99 free shipping for that one. And then Punkorama Volume 8. Punkorama Volume 8 right here. And I got uh, $5.99 free shipping for that one. And then next up, Disney VHS Beauty and the Beast. Right there in the clamshell. They are not worth millions of dollars, thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, whatever random baloney people try to tell you about the Black Diamond VHS. It's $9.99 free shipping. And it took months to sell so that's that's the reality still worth it to me to sell that at 9.99 free shipping but definitely don't expect hundreds of dollars for them there are vhs that are worth that the black diamond disney that is fake don't fall for it after that the crow 
Indians, Native American something something book uh, right there by Sonia Bleeker. This was a library version, so it's got the card thing in here, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, right there. Oh, it stuck to some tape. Yep, right there. $15 free shipping. And then last thing going out, B2C Chrome Cadillac Hood Ornament. And that is right there, Cadillac Hood Ornament. Somebody messaged me on this before and they needed a picture of the base because they wanted to know if it would fit, blah, 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 in their um, specific vehicle. And I said, I can't guarantee that. I don't know. I bought it at a at a thrift store to resell. I don't, I didn't, I'm not a car person. I didn't take it off my car. I have no idea. And then I looked at the pictures and there was pictures of the base in the listing. Like just scroll through the pictures. You're going to waste my time. But they were nice about it. So I did it anyways. And then they didn't buy it because it didn't fit their vehicle. I don't know. $25 free shipping for this. I took an offer. I think I had it listed $29.99. Like I said, very easy packing. This one, it's not going to be difficult, but I'll have to combine two boxes to make something because it's quite large. Picked up a couple things yesterday. I got this. It, I think if this is an original, it's about 50 bucks. Paid four bucks for it. But also there's a slight chance that this is a replica. I don't know. I got to do some further research on that. Picked up some Louis L'Amour books. If you, these leatherettes, if you remember, I sold a complete set with additional like companion books and I'd got around a thousand dollars for it. Shipping was $200 or something. So that's pretty crazy. Um, but then I picked up some of these ones, just individual ones. You get about $10 a piece for them, 10, 15, depending on the book and the garage sale I got them at. I, it was a friend of mine and I left him my number and said, Hey, if you find the rest, cause the person whose house it was, they said, yeah, I think we have more of these. I don't know where right now. So I said, if you find them, please let me know. I don't anticipate it being a complete set. So I'm just going to still sell these ones individually and not worry about it. I also picked up this brother typewriter. It's a SX 4000. I've sold that exact same one before. It doesn't have a tape uh, ribbon in it, an uh, ink ribbon, typewriter ribbon in it. So I have to order one just to test it. That's a bummer, but if it works, it's about a hundred bucks and I paid, I think four or five dollars for it. Um, let me double check just cause I can. Oh, 699. I paid $7 for it, but seven into a hundred. That's good money as far as I'm concerned. And the last one I sold, it sold very quickly. I, I want to say within a week. So I will probably order a ribbon for that today. If not today, I might make a run to the thrift stores because at one of them, there's always typewriter inks. I just, uh, I'll have to make sure they're universal or if it fits that one or how that works. I don't know. I don't, I don't use typewriters, but somebody does. And I think the reason that model is, even though it's not like vintage and cool looking, it has a, a delete aspect to it. So I think that's why that one still sells because it's very functional. And just a quick note on Sundays, I will no longer be putting out a video. I just been doing it every other day, but I think Sundays are just a poor viewer day. There's football, there's church, there's just other things doing your yard work, whatever it is. My viewership on Sundays is about half of what it normally is. So um, I'm going to figure out a different schedule. Just don't expect a video on Sundays, probably ever again, unless I start doing videos daily, which eventually may happen. But that's I I, I tried it and it was it was pretty difficult. I made it a, uh, about a week um, way back when I first was starting. But it was it was tedious. It was it was taking a lot of time away from doing the things that actually make me money. But back to the good stuff. Tip of the daytime. Something you should be aware of all the time is that just because it's in a box does not protect it from the elements because boxes are made of cardboard and cardboard is absorbent. And so it wicks water into it. And this is something you should be considering year round, but especially now coming up into the winter months, 
You know, you got your rainy season, you got your snow, porches are, like in my area, porches are continuously wet because they either have snow, uh, melting snow, or falling snow every single day. And your mail carrier does not have to care about that. They throw it on your porch. If it's in a puddle, it's in a puddle. So something, like I said, you should consider it all year round, but this time of year, you should very much consider it, especially because there's temporary help in all of the shipping um, companies, UPS, FedEx, USPS, all of them, that definitely don't care because they don't have to care about their job. Their job is temporary. They will be gone in three months. What brought it to my mind was I did those, I had uh, the set of Babysitter Club books and then the set of Junior Encyclopedia Britannicas. And what I do when I ship uh, books is I use a garbage bag. I just put the garbage bag in the box, put the books in it, tape it up, fold it nicely. Don't just like jam it in there like it's trash. I make nice folds and try to make it somewhat appealing and then pack around it. And then if the box gets wet, the books don't get wet. Because if one book gets wet, they're all getting wet. I know that because I had a, a stack of like home repair, vintage home repair books of some kind sitting there. And some water came in that door there and wicked across the carpet. It wicked into the bottom book and then into the next three books. So I have experience in that and they're trash now. And you're, I'm not going to sell them individually. It wasn't worth it. So they were trash. So garbage bag for bigger items that if they get wet, they will get ruined. If they get wet and it's not going to ruin them, it's not, it doesn't matter. They'll be wet and they'll be like, oh, I got wet. Oh no. And they dry it off and it's fine. If it's something like this, if this gets wet sitting in the box, nobody cares. You know, the person might be upset, but they're gonna be upset at the mail carrier. Not gonna be upset at you because it doesn't affect the product. And then also poly bags. Poly bags are a good thing. That's why I picked these up with my last eBay coupon because with shipping a lot of things like books, if I throw this book into this record mailer or into a book mailer or anything like that, if that gets wet, then the book is wet, then my sale is ruined. Or something like this VHS tape that has a papery cover. You should consider using vinyl padded mailers instead of craft paper mailers. I mean, craft bubble mailers. Because this is absorbent, it will soak up water, and it doesn't have to be a lot. It could be just the corner and it will wick through. That's just, that's how it happens. It, it starts and starts at one point and trails in. You can ask my rug that somewhere I cannot figure it out. I used to have a leak over there. I got rid of that leak, but then for a month, my rug was still wet. I couldn't figure it out. So it's, it's somewhere over here. I have some type of area where water comes in when it rains very hard and it wicks its way through. And then if you see here, this water damage, that's because it wicks from somewhere over there and then it goes over here and then it goes up this bookcase and then eventually dries out a month later. And then if it rains again, same old problem. First off, thank you to all of my subscribers, people who've been around since the beginning, new viewers, I appreciate it very much. 500 is definitely a milestone, a check mark that I'm very proud of, very happy of and can't wait to get to the next milestone, which personally for me would be when I get to that thousand subscribers, but still every 100 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. What you win if you win the subscriber giveaway is you either win $10 towards something in my eBay store. If we work outside of the eBay platform, I can give you a better deal because then I don't have to pay eBay fees. Also, because most of you, if not a lot of you, I don't know the exact numbers, are resellers yourselves, um, I've decided to also add as an option two things I use regularly. One is this magnetic tape measure like I have right here on the side of my tape dispenser. It's just perfect. It's always there, easy to use. Also, this box resizer, not this one. I would, of course, send you a new one. It's just easier to drop ship something like that than to pay additional postage to get it to you. So those are also two options if you win. Also included is some fantastic Tip of the Mitts merch 
that was given to me by uh, two of my favorite viewers, the Lowry's, uh, a tip of the mitts magnet, and two very shiny tip of the mitt flips stickers. So how you enter? My girlfriend's birthday is actually tomorrow. I will not tell you how old she's turning, but she's not excited about it. You can fill in the blank there. So to be entered, just leave some type of birthday comment with the words happy or birthday um, in the comment, and that's how you'll get entered. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other.